I'm scared. Oh, what's going on? Oh, 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 what is, what's going on? What's, I don't know what's happening, but we're in a blue room. Hey guys, what is up? Zox here, or Alex Pryor, and we are here with another mod review. We are doing the Electrical Age mod, and I have to say, I looked at it a little bit. We're actually in, they made this tutorial map that actually goes through the mod, so uh, I thought we could go through it together, uh, try to figure it out. And what I saw so far from the mod, it looked like it was very advanced, and when I mean very advanced, uh, it looked like some type of uh, engineer actually came up with this, just from the fact of... Uh, all the circuitry involved because uh, I have to say uh, when I did uh, circuit analysis and stuff like that this is what it reminded me of so uh, let's get started and go right to it all right guys okay guys so the first thing when you actually step on this plate that's like right in front of here I don't know what, what's the name of this plate it's a tutorial sign so they made these tutorial signs so whenever you uh, get I believe a block or two next to it it comes up with this little thing on the top left uh, as you can see I don't know why I'm pointing at it but I am and it says welcome to the official tutorial map for the electrical age mod this map is being released under the version uh, version 1.9 R38 have fun the electrical age team uh, and they start off with here giving you some torches a wrench which what is oh, shit, I got it right here what happens when I hold shit hold. Oh, well, that was stupid, because I did something wrong. Uh, uh, I didn't do it. Someone else did it. It wasn't me. And you got an owl meter. Now, an owl meter, uh, well, let's just see how it works in this mod. Okay, before all, some electrical bases are needed. Uh, yeah, this is very standard stuff if you know anything about electricity or circuitry. You have volts, current, resistance, power, and energy. You have volt, uh, voltages and volts. Uh, currents and amper uh, amperes or amperage, resistances and ohms, uh, power is uh, W, or, or sorry, W, watts, and energies and joules, that's just standard. Some formulas used like uh, V is volts, I is current, R is resistance, P is power, and E is energy. Yes, it looks like we will be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of math involved in here. So, uh, voltage is equal to the resistance times the current, or crossed into the current if you know what that is. Uh, Power is equal to the voltage uh, multiplied by the current, which is also equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance, which is the same as uh, <laughs> current squared times R. Uh, then you have the E is equal to <laughs> power times time, which is, yeah, so it's, you take the power and as long as it's going to take. Uh, and then it's got an example there. If you want to know how many currents, take a, uh, take a consumer. Uh, the current consumer is equal to the power consumer divided by the voltage line. Simple stuff, right? Okay, so you have a couple of wirings here. You have a signal wire and carry, can carry information, obviously. Uh, you have a low voltage, uh, which it looks like that. It, that's, I guess, uh, going to be kind of like capacitor, capacitor, I'm going to guess. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like uh, low voltage. Okay, you have, uh, oh wait. There's some wires in this mod. They all have some limits. Okay, so this is just the wires. Uh, the maximum voltage, maximum uh, heating, uh, line current through cables heat. You can consider that they are maximum current. If one of these lines is overflowed, that explo that explodes, explodes, explodes. I can't read. So the <laughs> nominal voltage are uh, 50 volts, 200 uh, volts, 800 volts. But practically, you can reach uh, 60. 60 volts, 240 volts, 1,000 volts without risk. The same with the maximum current through a cable. Uh, specified currents are 20 amps, 10 amps, and uh, 6.25 amps. But you can reach 24 amps, 12 amps, and 7.5 amps. So I guess when you hit those max, those max points, depending on the wiring, which is right here, the low wiring, medium wiring, and the high wiring, uh, when you hit those points, I believe it'll explode. Like if you go over it, it'll explode. There are two basic circuits, and uh, well, I guess in this mod, uh, small blue boxes are created, uh, designed voltage source. Okay, so all right, so if you don't know anything about circuitry, here's something small and interesting. Now you see that there's a large, uh, there's the large line and there's a the smaller line. The smaller line should be your negative, and your positive is going to be on the larger line. Uh, you always go in a loop like that. Uh, as you can uh, probably the voltage, current, power, temperature with your all meter. Oh, you can probe it. Okay, so let's doing that okay it tells you how much it's going through with the L meter okay that is 
pretty damn cool actually. Uh, okay, so it just goes that. We can calculate by taking only the current as measured. For the left circuit is easy. The current is 9.29 .9, uh, amperage. Uh, the resistance to the power is 12.5 ohms. Okay, for the second circuit, it's a little bit more complicated. The current delivers the voltage source, uh, 9.31 amperage, and it's split between both brackets. Okay, so it splits it between the two right here. Uh, and that's just how the voltage drops and everything. So take measure on the red wool. So what's this? Okay. Okay, so it has the temperature of it. So uh, the temperature, I'm going to guess, uh, as it's working harder, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be hotter is the only thing I can think of uh, just because that's would be standard work energy. Okay. So that's a lot of information just in the first room. Jesus. Let's go to the next one. A basic circuit. The lamp is fed from a battery. Okay. So you have this battery and this lamp is right over there uh, via a switch and the battery is grounded to the other side. Okay. So you have to ground it. Now, if you don't know what grounding is pretty much uh Let's just, for all you uh, Americans out there, the best way for me to explain it is when you look at a plug, you'll have the two prongs, one would be positive and one's negative, and then you'll have the one on the bottom, and that's called the ground, and that leads your wiring to literally the ground, so when any electricity goes, it goes to that ground and, you know, kind of like stabilizes, the best way of me explaining it. Uh, black is the negative pin and red is the positive pin, like as it says. Uh, so right here, you know, red's positive, black is negative. They have the negative going to the uh, ground, it looks like. And then the positive is going to the switch, which goes to that. So let's see what happens when you hit this. All right, that is damn cool. So they have a battery, an actual charging battery that goes to a switch that goes to a light. That is fucking amazing. Okay. A wire color carry one. What is this? Low voltage car cable. Is this, is this a resistor in here? I don't even know. Why does it say hold shift? I don't know what that means. Oh. Okay, so. Normal usage. Yep, it's a resistor with 25 ohms. Wow. They really went to a lot of work with this. All right. You can put batteries in parallel in order to source more current when needed. So let's. So parallel is, I guess, this is the best way of looking at it, is you have. Uh, three batteries right here, one, two, three, and they're going to be, they're not, uh, uh, I guess in series would be the, the opposite of the, the opposing to this, but they're all going to be working at different rates. So let's see how this, oh, there we go. Yep. So it, it takes the source from whichever's needed at its time. That's really cool. All right. You can put batteries in series to store more power and to provide greater supply voltage. Okay, just like uh, I was saying before, so they have them in series here, and when you do, oh, that is amazing. So not only do they just add, like, holy hell, this is, this is amazing. This is a cool ass mod. I love this. All right, now these are the different batteries and power sources, I believe. So it says this is a basic low cost battery. This is a more uh, lead to produce a battery with a higher energy storage capacity. Uh, the battery directly provides 200 volts. Uh, the battery designed to provide a, lots of current at once. This battery lasts longer before wearing out. And uh, it's a single-use battery. Can't be recharged. Uh, don't know why you use this. Oh, my God. Th okay, there's this weird thing going in my ear, and I'm pretty sure it's part of this mod. All right, burn coal or other fuel to provide heat. You can manually... Oh, God, tune the ventilation to burn less or more coal. Okay, so I guess you can put coal in here. Let's, let's see what happens when we do that. Let's uh, grab a little bit of coal, if I can remember where that's at. Uh, coal. Oh, okay, they already got some, so you can... Internal control. External control. I don't want to decline the... F control gauge. Boston chamber. Man, this is too advanced for me. Uh, produce electricity from temperature delta... Left side must be warm. The right side must be cold. Elect electricity is is output from the front and back. Okay. Uh, dissipate heat into the atmosphere. Okay. So, I believe what these are doing is different power. Another different power source. So you have something that can uh, take break down coal. Uh, something that can take uh, temperature, which is good for uh, 
when you take the almeter so you take something that has a heat and then co cold so you can see like the red is the hot side and this and then you have whatever heat comes in the atmosphere so this kind of like uh it takes it's kind of similar to this i'd assume and they're all charging these bat these uh lamps a basic un unregulated turbine generator not safe at all and can explode easily oh god uh, you can install regulators uh, in a furnace to control the temperature automatically. There are two types of regulators. Uh, check the furnace GUIs. Uh, on and off regulators with uh, with a his, uh, hysterious uh, analog regulators that try to find a right burning ratio. It's not the best regulation method because the furnace never stops. Blow wind on dissipator is much more efficient way to dissipate heat. However, the fan needs power source. So you can get energy from uh, this dissipator put a fan on it but get uh, some type of battery or something to uh, run that and then you can use it right, oh so you can hang lights like this and oh that's amazing okay that is just cool I love this furnaces can be controlled from an external signal when the signal is at 0% or 0 volts the furnace will shut off when the signal is at 100% or 50 volts the furnace will burn at a maximum uh, production. Here the signal is provided by a voltage probe configured for a 100% or 50 volts signal with the voltage is below 190 volts and a 0% or 0 voltage signal when the voltage is above 210 volts. This regulates the output voltage to between 190 and 210 volts. The control signal for the regulation can be monitored in two ways with an analog UV, UV meter or VU meter uh, that displays the signal voltage with a data logger that, that shows uh, historical signal voltage. You can see the signal swing when you switch the light state. Oh, 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 we got a party in here. We got a party. Oh. All right, now there's three different brushes. You got a red brush, a blue brush, and a yellow brush. The red brush has a life of 32. The blue is... 32 as well and the yellow is 32. Signal buttons can provide a 0% or 100% signal. Note that they are not momentarily buttons. The signal processor calculates its output from each input and supplies equations. Here each input signal from the three buttons has specific numerical weight 50%, 33%, and 25%. The calculated output is displayed the UV meter. A periodic ramp signal can be done with calling ramp periodic values where periodic values is in whole seconds. This demonstrates the use of sine and the pi constant to create a sine wave. You can also create square waves with some basic logic. You can use brush to change the color of the cables. Cables with not with not the same colors do not connect together. This rule can be overridden if you change the configurations of the cables with the wrench and allow it to cross color connectors. The wrench, in some cases, has the possibility to turn small electronic wall blocks. One very interesting function is REST, REST Trigger Set Trigger. This emulates a set reset latch. This function outputs a 0 or 1 depending on its internal state. When set trigger is higher than 0.5, the output is set to 1. When reset trigger is higher than 0.5 the output is set to zero this can override set trigger if both are high this can be very useful to regulate a heat furnace starting it when a battery is too low and stopping it when the battery is full so it allows uh power to go back into the uh, battery so you, it'll keep charging it up and then you can use it again is what i'm getting out of this Here's a more complex system using a very efficient power regulator. The signal processor controls the heat furnace according to two conditions. The processor starts when the battery is below 100 volts and stops over 220 volts. When running, it controls burn rate to produce electrical power between 450 and 550 watts from the turbine. This uses the battery as a primary current source and uses the turbine to charge the battery at a maximum efficiency. This block transforms voltage and current with a ratio specified by the cables counted in the GUI. This display monitors the battery's voltage. This furnace that uses electricity to produce heat, it will cook the same material as the base game function. So, a periodic run 5 second non-stop. So you can put this at... Oh my god! 
Holy. Alright, so it runs it for five seconds. Okay, let's turn that off. Every five seconds it'll work. And then what if we do it constantly? Okay, so you have... Alright, oh, it's cooking the food! Okay, so it's like a... You can have an automatic cooker without using any coal. That's insanely cool. The auto miner mine a hole one block at the beginning, five blocks after some depth, and collects ores on a bigger diameter, one block at beginning, ten after ten depth. You must put a chest on the back of the auto miner. So this is an auto miner, and what it does is, okay, so you put an electrical drill and a mining pipe, and they put a, okay, got some coal in here, let's, See what happens when we run it. Oh, that's not the switch. Here's... Okay, so it's going to drill down. And let's see what happens. Oh, it... there's some iron. How long does it, how far does it go down? I kind of want to see this. I want to see. Okay. What? I wonder if you could die. I bet you can die if you stand underneath that. That's cool. And it puts it all right in the chest. Holy. Alright, so I think it's got a limitation on the. Wait a minute, does it doesn't. It doesn't. How, how many fucking uh, things do we put in? 59, so I guess it's the length of the pipe. So let's just actually. We're gonna come back to this at the end just to see how many. Uh, how many items it's came up with. Alright, this is the electrical lamp showroom where I guess they just show you the different type of uh, lighting fixtures you can have with this mod. Uh, and they're all charged with the same switch right now, which is BAM. It's just uh, ground, it looks like it's just grounded to a single wire and they're all just wrapped around with the switch. Honestly, I think the lamp's my favorite. The output of this sensor rises and falls with the amount of light in the block. Because wiring every lamp in this area could be difficult, you can just provide power to lamps with the lamp supply block. Just provide power to the la lamp supply and put the lamp on the same channel as the supply box. So this is the supply box it looks like. And you call it my lamp and I guess you put a uh, resistor in there. And it's run off the same line so... Oh that's cool. Plate's redstone signal is translated into electrical signal. This signal is used as a trigger by a time program to output a 100% signal for 4 seconds. That controls the relay, the relay with switch power to the lamp. So whenever I hit this, this relay goes back, hits this timer, and, or this timer, goes to the split, to the ground, and to the light. What if I just hit this? Oh. Oh, and that also works the way. Okay. Solar panels produce electricity from the sun, taking in, into account the sun's position and if blocks are between it and the sun. This probe measures the power uh, production of the solar panel, so it tells you how much power in watts that it gets from the solar panel into this, where we can cook up our meat. This probe displays the sun's lu luminosity, aka de daylight. So it tells you if you're a day or a night. <laughs> That's pretty much all it does. And yeah, it's take it. Uh, this kind of solar panel tracks the sun to get more energy from it. Uh, so just angling them gets it. Well, we're about to lose some daylight. Okay, so that's really cool. So literally, what it does is when, I, if you see, I change the time. It it track it literally is tracking the sun. So instead of this just being straight up and down, this will actually go around and track where the sun is at. Wind turbines produce more electricity when the weather is raining and or thundering. In general, however, the power pr uh, production is very random. Water turbines produce very little energy except when the weather is raining. But what it can do is, if you if you have something basic, I guess you can have this little like water system and just have the it spin and generate water. That's actually cool if you're doing any uh, energy within water, like if you have a farm or anything, it produces much energy. So you can have a farm and or like kind of like a farm with like animals and whenever they are murdered very 
or painfully. You can put their meat in here and then have it, you know, generate the uh, electricity needed to cook it. Rubber, you must smelt tree resin. To get tree resin, you must put a tree resin collector in a pretty tree to get all the sap. So right here, it's collecting sap. And, uh, yeah. You can transmit power on long range with power transmitter receiver antennas. The power transmitter antenna has some input-output. Uh, P power inputs to feed it with energy. C signal inputs to specify how many... It must send power. 0% is equal to 0 watts. 100% is normal power. S signal emits from power receiver antenna can be used to regulate power. The power receiver antenna has some input output. Uh, power output feeds by the front power transmitter antenna. Signal power that is transmitted to the S output of the front power transmitter antenna. The regulation of that power that must be transmitted is done by a voltage probe. If the voltage is below 180 volts, the signal is at 100%. If the voltage is higher than 220, uh, the signal is at 0%. As you can see, there is some capacitor to store the energy overflow due to re uh, regulation latency. Battery can uh, do the same job. Warning, the power transmitted, if you transmit more than the load network can consume, the voltage rises too much and that will explode. So, if you don't know what a capacitor is, this is a capacitor and what it does is it holds a charge. Um, sad to say, but when I used to do uh, electri electricity, I, it took me forever to figure out what a capacitor actually did. But that's the easy way, is it holds the charge there. You can use energy counter blocks to do exactly what the name of the block say. In addition, you can configure this block in prepay mod, where you specify how many energy, how many, how much energy you allow to consume, and when the counter reaches zero, the, that's the cutoff line. Wireless signals can be transmitted and received. A more complex example is at the next room. All right, so they have a, a wireless signal repeater and a wireless analyzer, which is like this, I guess. And you can probe wireless channels in areas by right-clicking an item in the chest. Uh, the range of the wireless signal is 32 blocks. When the signal crosses a block, the range is reduced by one block. If you have a problem with the range, you can use wireless signal repeater blocks. This block repeats all signals in a 32 block range that gives you the capacity to, expend, to extend the wireless network. Uh, some standard blocks could be placed on small electrical elements like stone or glass in this case. Here you can break the glass and push the button to sound the alarm. Kind of want to do that. Oh my god. You can use hub blocks to cross electrical cables without connecting them. That could be very useful in some situations. Note that you must select which sides are connected to which in the GUI. Of course you can use signal button connected to wireless transmitters, but all of that is integrated into the wireless button. To configure the channel of the wireless button, you must right click it with a wrench. Wireless is perturbed when lightning falls. You can try with slash weather thunder. You can configure multiple transmitters on the same channel. Then, wireless receivers can be configured to aggregate all wireless signals that come. There's actually three kind of aggregators configurations. Uh, biggest, smallest, and toggle. Biggest, uh, that gets the biggest value emitted, the smallest, smallest value, and every time the transmitter do a pulse, the output toggles. This room is an example of a combination of wireless buttons, wireless receivers, relays, lamp supply, lamp sockets. It's how you can build a room to have multiple buttons to manage the light. Each button toggles uh, the state of the light. There's a different way to get the battery charge level. You can right click on a battery and check this level in the GUI, but in some cases you need to have this level on a signal cable. Uh, the signal processor has a function called battery charge that transmits a battery voltage into a battery charge radic. The input of the function must be normalized by the normal voltage of batteries. This system do a charge discharge cycle on a battery at the frequency of 0.5 hertz. This is a good setup that calculates the real voltage on the battery by taking into account the voltage drop on a cable and 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 battery and and battery and battery. The equation is battery charge B minus the quantity A minus B times 5.1 times the quantity 2 and as you can see there's some constant 2 is to normalize voltage because voltage probe range is 100 volts and the battery normalized voltage is 50. Uh, 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2, so there's this simple conversion there. This is a bad setup because the internal resistance of the battery put 
an offset of the voltage probe. Uh, this is a, a movement detector using an entry sensor and similar circuits to produce a plate light. So I guess whenever it sees me moving, it'll give light to it. That's pretty fucking cool. All right, this chest contains all electrical items of the mod. X-ray scanner that allows you to see through blocks, right click to activate it. Small flashlight that could be used in mining, right click to activate it. Portable electrical mining drill to replace your pickaxe. Portable electrical axe to cut down forest and make coal from them. Portable battery condenser. Uh, if it's in your inventory... Uh, that recharges other portable items. e coal suit that uses electricity to protect you, but takes time to recharge itself. That is pretty fucking cool. Shit. This block has the uh, capacity to charge your portable electrical items. You can switch it on. So, so there's the items in there, and it charges them up. That's damn cool. Here's here's the secret. Get the X-ray scanner to find it. Uh, okay, let's get the X-ray scanner. All right. Oh, shit. It's running. Okay, so you can see the blocks through the wall. Wait, can you see through the wall? Okay, so it gives you some sense of items being nearby. Damn. All right, I got my e coal suit on. Let's do it. Oh, I should probably get out of game. Oh. Okay, so it takes damage to the arm oh, and the armor reach. Okay, so that's that's fucking great. That is amazing. This is a transportation showroom. Uh, this shows the network voltage. What does this do though? Does it tr transport people? I want to be transport. I'm scared. Oh, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh! What is? What's going on? What's, I don't know what's happening, but we're in a blue room. Oh no. What's it? I'm on the other side of the room. It just teleported me from that point to the... Oh my god. G what the fuck? Okay, that was just the coolest fucking thing ever. I don't know how I'm going to top this. But batteries are there to maintain network voltage during transportation. Uh, ideally, that would be considered uh, a condenser, but they are WIP. They are WIP. Power on active uh, dissipa dissipators on only when they are hot. Jesus Christ, I can't talk anymore. Power generators that fill batteries, power regulations on, off, refunctions. Uh, the replicator is a very specific... A special creature he steals and eats electricity in cables when he had when he has eaten enough he duplicates into two new uh, replicators if he if he doesn't find electricity he becomes hungry and becomes cannibal to survive or else he dies uh, he pop only when the weather is thunder this creature could uh, seem only harmful uh, but when he dies they drop some interesting dust maybe you can breed some creatures by feeding them with your electricity and finally get your own tribute. Uh, some eggs are in the chest. Don't forget maps on easy and game mode. Alright, let me put it on easy and uh, stay in game mode. Alright, let's try this out. Oh, so it looks like a silverfish. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's eating the power! Bam. Oh, what else do they drop? So they drop glowstone. Dreadstone. Okay, so I'm guessing they drop different types of stone. Okay, guys, so that was pretty much the entire mod, but you may be sitting here wondering, like, why, why have I showed you all these cool things? Why haven't I showed you how to actually make anything? Well, Sadly enough, uh, on the forum page, it doesn't tell you how to make anything, how to craft anything. It says on the wiki, and uh, the when I went to the wiki, I only found uh, one crafting recipe, and that was for the tele uh, the teleporter. So I'll show you real quick. And you need an uh, advanced chip. You need two of them, which I don't even know how to get because it doesn't exp uh, it didn't explain it. 
Uh, machine blocks, you need two of them, and an iron door, and you'll get the experimental teleporter. And I'm just going to place it down because it's... Oh, minus, how much space do I fucking need for this damn thing? You know what? Put it right here. There. What about... What about... Okay, I just want all the... I, I, there we go. I just want it. I, I just want it. That's just the coolest thing ever. I kind of want to take another trip in one. Alright, they're sending me back. They're going to be sending me back to where I belong. Oh. Hey, look, we're like 20 blocks away. But it's cool. Okay, guys, before ending this mod off, I told you guys I would come back here and see how far it went down anyway. Now, let's kind of like look and try to... Oh my god, it has not... Oh my god, it is still going on. I don't even think it's done. I... I don't even think it's done. We went through that whole fucking thing and it's still not done. I guess it's just as much pipe... 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 Piping that you put in it. So, yep, it's still got 17 more pipes that can go. And let's see how many blocks it's picked up on its way. Holy hell. Oh my god. So, this is definitely worth making. Uh... So yeah guys, this has been the Electrical Age mod, and it's it's really cool. I'm sorry it was just packed with a shit ton of information, but that's what this mod is entailed for. Uh, I believe it's still in early development, so I believe they're still working on it. If, if they're not, I'm, I'm sorry for saying that, but uh, it's really cool. I can't wait to see what else they put to this. Uh, I would, I'd love to see if they updated the wiki page so we could actually see uh, how to build most of this stuff. But as of right now, I guess it's just trial and error. I'm going to get out of here because it's kind of loud. Uh, but yeah, that's been the Electrical Age. I am uh, right here. I'm Alex for Hire. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!